Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? So I have a revelation coming from Holy Spirit. This revelation is coming from a dream, and it is also coming from Scripture. The Scripture is Romans chapter 2, verses 12 through 16. So let's get into this dream. So this dream that Holy Spirit gave me this morning, um, or last night, or coming into this morning. Today is 8.18. I don't know if this video is going to post tonight or tomorrow. But um, either way, this is a dream that Holy Spirit gave me, 818, okay? And this dream was a little different um, because when I was in this dream, I could sense that when I was placed in this house that the people around me did not know I was there. So I was placed inside of this house. You know how dreams go. I boom, show up in this house. <laughs> and so I'm in this house and there's like three or four guys walking around downstairs. And I can tell that they don't see me or they don't realize that I'm there. Okay. And so I'm like, okay, so this is that kind of dream. They, I'm in somebody's house. <laughs> I'm in somebody's house and they don't know that I'm here basically. So... I go from the living room, boom, to a room. And I'm aware that this room is in the same house as these guys are in. These three, other, three, four other guys are walking around in. But I'm in this bedroom now. And I see two guys laying on the bed. And they are um, facing like opposite directions. Like one is laying this way and the other is laying this way. So like one has his... A leg where the feet heads like they're laying in opposite directions so it looked like they just chilling right so then I see a girl and she's like did you just finish effing him she's talking to the guy on this side and this guy is this guy's the one that's facing her and she's like did you just finish effing him and the guy didn't say anything and she says it again did you just finish effing him and he didn't say anything so she turned to the other guy and she said did you just finish effing him and the guy grabbed the sheets um off of all that he was under and he covered his head with it and he nodded and he shook his head yes and so she said okay and she left so i think the guy who covered up his head left after her and then the dream was over right so this is the scripture coming from romans chapter 2 verses 12 through 16 it's entitled judgment by the interior law all who sin outside the law will also perish without inter without reference to it and all who sin under the law will be judged in accordance with it for it is not those who hear the law who are just in the sight of God. Rather, those who observe the law will be justified. For when the Gentiles who do not have the law by nature observe the prescriptions of the law, they are a law for themselves even though they do not have the law. They show that the demands of the law are written in their hearts while their conscience also bears witness and their conflicting thoughts accuse or even defend them on the day when according to my gospel god's will judge people god's will god will judge people's hidden works through christ jesus so this is the revelation that holy spirit gave me through the dream and through this scripture this is someone who knows the word of god and they know the laws and that not only do they know but they show okay it says here in verse 15 they show that the demands of the law are written in their hearts so to show means they allow and cause it to be visible that the demands of the law are written in their hearts. This means that this is someone who has become one with God's word to the point where they can speak it out of their mouth because it is in their heart. 
a, they can speak about God. They can speak about his laws. They can recite it to you. They know it because it's in their heart. Okay. And as well as not only as it's in their hearts, while their conscience also bears witness to what they are doing. So this is someone who knows the law. Their conscience bears witness to it. And when your conscience bears witness, this means that you are alert. You are awake. You are painfully aware of the law that is written in your heart. And not, not even stopping there, it says, and even their conflicting thoughts accuse them and defend them and defend the law that is written in their heart. So this person is doing something, 555. They are doing something that their mind, body, and spirit, thoughts even are coming against. And this pertains to homosexuality, homosexual acts. This is something that their mind, body, soul, spirit, brain, and even their thoughts are coming against. Even their thoughts are conflicting. Even their conflicting thoughts are, confu are accusing them and defending the law that is written in their hearts. It says it here. They show the demands of the law. They show that the demands of the law are written in their hearts while their conscience also bears witness and their conflicting thoughts accuse or defend them on on the day according to my gospel god will judge people's hidden works through jesus christ so the father is saying this person is someone who is fully aware of what they're doing they know that what they are doing is wrong And yet they are still doing it. And the father wants this person to know. That he will judge your hidden works. Through Christ. And your hidden works. Are the things that you do. That you think no one knows anything about. The father says he will judge these works through Christ. And I, I was like, what does that mean to judge um, your hidden works through Christ? What does that mean? So, you know, I mean, the father said, look it up. And it means God will judge secrets. God will judge thoughts, secrets, as well as actions. Also, this judgment will be made by Jesus Christ. He will stand as judge in this moment. And then he led me to John 5 and 22. And it reads. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, Amen. I say to you, a son cannot do anything on his own, <clears throat> but only what he sees his father doing. <clears throat> For what he does, his son will do also. For the father loves his son and shows him everything that he himself does. And he will show him greater works than these, so that he may be amazed. For just as the father raises the dead, he gives life. He also does the he also does the son he also so also does the son give life to whomever he wishes verse 22 nor does the father judge any more not nor does the father judge anyone but he has given all judgment to his son so that all may honor the son just as they honor the father whoever does not honor the son does not honor the father who sent him amen amen i say to you whoever hears my word and believes the one who sent me has eternal life 
and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has li- for just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave to his Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds in the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just. Just my judgment is just because I do not seek on my own will, but I will but the will of the one who sent me. Okay? I do not seek on my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. So then the father led me to Hebrews 4 and 13. No creature is concealed from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must render an account. So, the Father is saying to render an account, accounts rendered means an account presented by a creditor to a debtor for examination and settlement. Revelation. The Father will allow you to take a look at someone's private account. And a private account is um, something that only the Lord has control over. Usually it's something only you have control over, right? But it's also something that the Lord has control over. Say, for instance, you, your YouTube or your uh, Facebook, Instagram, your private account. You have access to who gets to see your private account. But so does the Father. The Father is saying he has access to all accounts accounts rendered and the father will allow you okay to take a look at someone's private account so that you have a full examination of who this person is and you can come to a conclusion so the father will allow you to see what's going on in this person's life he will allow you access to this person's private account you will be able to see posts, pictures, videos in this person's private life, okay? No creature is concealed. No demons are concealed from him. But everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must render an account. Okay, so the father is saying if there is someone who owes you or the father feels like you are owed an explanation for something or what is going on so that you can um, have a full examination of a person and who they are so that you can come to a settlement or a conclusion about a person and how to move forward, the father is going to Uh, do that because he has that access and when you are divinely connected and to him and divinely guided by him and instructed by him then he will allow okay for this to take place it says I cannot do anything on my own I judge as I hear and my judgment is just because I do not seek on my own will, but I, but the will of the one who sent me. 
the father is going to be the one who gives this just judgment. For somebody, this is just judgment that you are able to see into their private life, their private account, their private photos, their private videos, their private life. Video meaning what they are partaking in in that time, in that moment. Okay? And only the Father has access to accounts rendered. And those who are divinely connected to him have access to those private accounts. Okay? And the father does this as just judgment for one. And for two, so that you have the full examination of who a person is. So that you can come to a settlement and or a conclusion about this person. Because when you are divinely connected to the Father, there is nothing that will be hidden from you. And this is not something that you will have to go look for or something that you will have to seek. This is just something that the Father will show you. Because he feels as if you deserve to know and it's just. It's only right that you know. Okay? And for this person... The father wants them to know that this is someone who knows that what they are partaking in, participating in, they know. Heart, mind, body, soul, spirit, thoughts, they know even as they partake in it that what they are doing is against God and against his laws. And they are going to be judged according to what they know because it's only fair. And that's the message, y'all. Peace.